body. Okay, I lived kind of. I'm gonna have to risk losing Lottie here, though. I have to heal somebody. I forgot how cracked his Vigoroth is. Okay, that, that loses Lottie. So that's our third official death. Oh, no, 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 no. Yup! Ah! I have to get a whole new team! I have so much training to do. Oh, I still have Pokemon in the PC. So here's the problem. I have to train a whole new team. They're all dead! Hang on. Yeah. I know I have a surplus of gunpowder. Where is it? Adventure finds. There it is. Okay, um, stone. Random dorite. Nope, wood. I have them labeled. Suggestion, Axel Otl. Maybe. If I'm lucky enough. If I'm lucky enough, I will find an Axel Otl. We're not going to talk about the bucket of salmon, okay? <laughs> Hang on one sec, casual. Ara, ara. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Guys, guys, we got two! We got two! <laughs> no shot! No shot! So... Does anyone want to give this... There. <laughs> Did not think that that was gonna spawn down in here. Give that to Mushu. Give that to Roger. Okay, I lived kind of. I'm gonna have to risk losing Lottie here, though. I have to heal somebody. I forgot how cracked his Vigoroth is. Okay, that, that loses Lottie. So that's our third official death. <sighs> Hang on one sec, casual. Ara, ara. No, 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 no. Yup! Ah! I have to get a whole new team! I have so much training to do! Oh, I still have Pokemon in the PC. So, here's the problem. I have to train a whole new team. They're all dead! Hang on. Okay, there's this- Follower shop? <gasps> Follower shop! Okay, so theoretically, if I buy from him here, I get the card. Yes! We got the card! Full deck, baby! Yeah. I know I have a surplus of gunpowder. Where is it? Adventure finds. There it is. Okay, um, stone. Random dorite. Nope, wood. I have them labeled. Suggestion, Axel Otl. Maybe. If I'm lucky enough. If I'm lucky enough, I will find an Axel Otl. We're not gonna talk about the bucket of salmon, okay? <laughs>
cute little cat variation. This is what it looked like at time I needed you on this. Specific window. Game change. Okay. And then, yep, there we go. Okay. And there, now we've swapped. <laughs> All that. Oh god, there's so much going on! <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, is it done yet? <laughs> Can my avatar work again? <laughs> I think you actually broke the avatar! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know, I knew I was doing this today. I didn't expect that level of chaos! <laughs> oh my god, my avatar's still recovering. <laughs> kidding me <laughs> guys guys we got two we got two <laughs> no shot no shot so does anyone want to give this he's gonna get a heck of a stat boost if she lives to become a crow Am I early tonight for once? Yes. Yes, I am. Ugh. Tonight was one of those nights where I actually felt like doing something. Anywho, it's been a while since we've done Pokemon Sword. For those who don't remember, we have completed the tournament for the right to fight Leon for championship. And we're outside Wimbledon Stadium. Our current team members are Roger the Rabbit, level 61. Tweety Bird the Corvid Knight at level 61. Reptar, our Tyranitar, rocking nice level 63. Toadette, the Shionic, at 64. Mayday, the Garbantula, also at 64. And our current ace of the party, surprisingly, is Mushu, our Milotic, at level 69. So, hopefully, we can get through this portion of the actual story of the game. And I hope everyone is having a lovely day, evening, night, wherever it may be for you. For all I know, it's morning where someone's at. <laughs> but we have a fully healed party. Let's see what Hop has to say. Wolf! This is it. Here at Winden Stadium, the greatest stadium in all of Galar. You're gonna show everyone the greatest battle ever, mate, and set the world on fire. So go get yourself checked in. <laughs> I already have the dream all for me, right? Yes. I couldn't remember if I had gotten the one from here or not. Thanks, ball guy. Challenger Wolf, we've been waiting for you. Since you won your way through the semifinals, you must face off against the gym leaders in the finals. And they won't be holding back. Whoever makes it through the final bracket will win the right to challenge the champion. Oh right, yesterday was semifinals. Well, the last time we played, which was like two weeks ago. <laughs> I forget how tournament style they did this one. Instead of having an Elite Four. Hey, Pierce is here. I'd say I aim to win this thing, and I'll do it without using Dynamax, to help everyone in Spike Muth reclaim their pride, and see him smile once again. Long time to see. This will be a different sort of battle than you faced in the gym challenge. Those were basically test matches, but this, this is a serious battle. Oh, there's Rehan. I'm going to move my way through every round, and then I'll be the one taking on Leon. If I don't, then I have failed to repay Duralon and the rest of my team for all their hard work. <laughs> no, it won't, Nessa. <laughs> it's a curious feeling. My heart is racing a bit, but I still can't wait for the match to begin. I'll always press on and challenge myself, so 
Oh, that I can go on as a Pokemon trainer for as long as possible. As long as you continue to push yourself, your brilliance will never fade. I'll be bringing my matches to an end in a heartbeat. You'll see. No one who sees them will ever forget me. My first match is against Rihan of all people. What rotten luck. But even if he changes the weather around, I don't plan on throwing the talent so easy. Yes. Let's go. Do, do, do. It probably goes without saying, but hello, Galar! I'm your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope no one's minds me emceeing. <laughs> the time has come for you to battle it out on the greatest challenger remains. Let the finals match begin. <laughs> Riohan is the most kind of annoying of double battle. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense, though. Wait, you? <laughs> Who's that? Mm-hmm. A moment, if I may. Does anyone here even remember me? I am Beatty, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. He's a challenger endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to sell out with Challenger Wolf here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle her. I'll stake my career as challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. Nope, who are you again? <laughs> what an unexpected turn of events! Former Challenger Beatty has come for one last battle. We are currently debating on what to do with Challenger Beatty. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask that you please be patient. I know this is ridiculous of me, but I had to say something. Do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Olena who asked me to gather wishing stars for the chairman, but then the chairman disowned me himself disowned me. And then that strange old lady comes up out of nowhere and drags me into a boot camp on fairy type Pokemon. <laughs> Do you have any idea what we've I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles? Oh wait, you're the annoying brat who made Hop feel bad? And here I am pouring my heart out to you when I've never lost my cool before. We've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. The champion himself has accepted Beatty's sudden interruption. Is the champion showing his love by giving every chainer a chance to, go chance to grow stronger? Or is it just a trial for Challenger Wolf? My will hasn't been broken yet. <laughs> this poor kid, man. Freaking Opal just kidnaps him. <laughs> you fool! I lead with Roger. <laughs> We've faced too much to quit now. We've got no choice but to win. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Right, I'm still way over leveled because I was paranoid. Eh, flame charge. Damn it. I don't know if you're gonna heal or not. I'll go for the flame charge again. Yep. <laughs> Always assume everyone has like three full restores on them. Slightly more resistant. Mm. When everything by Pyro Ball to the face is a valid tactic? Yeah, but I'm saving the Pyro Balls. Guard of War. Yes. Come here, you. <laughs> Because Tweety needs XP. <laughs> I 
And this would be why. If you're gonna use fairy types, I'm gonna use Steeler's Poison. Except for Motwile, because Motwile's the one fairy type that's technically immune to both fairy type or both fairy type types. This Rapidash is, I believe, psychic, but we should be fine. We're just coming to worst have a U-turn. Hmm. I'll go for the stealing, but I think U-turn's gonna be the better move. <laughs> I may not be the fastest, but Surprise, I hit like a truck. Motherfucker. Oh, okay, I only heard part of that surprise. I was confused. Hatterene. Eh. What's with that calm expression? Think you're going to win? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Oh look, if you feel any sort of emotion around this thing, it'll kill you. Just because it doesn't want to feel your emotion. I swear, Pokedex entries are terrifying when you read them. Oh. I forgot that this was his ace. Whoops! <laughs> My brain's way too used to 6v6 at this point. Yeah. You're down two team members to Wolf's Nun. Yeah, but that thing apparently has a fire type move. I mean, technically I outsped it. Let's go! Insult to injury! <laughs> Hi, Archer. Roger and Mayday both gain levels. Court change. What the fudge is court change? With this mysterious power, the user swaps the effects on either side of the fi- No. While that would be useful, kind of, against Rehan, not what I need right now. Rehan doesn't use things like, uh, mist or anything like that. He does actual weather. I could win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. I'm doing good, Archer. I got home from work and I got hyper. Like, I don't know why. It looks like the Challenger BD was no match for Challenger Wolf and her trusted team. That was an awesome match. Don't retire, just restart your career. This isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from that old lady. <laughs> you just keep messing up my plans. With everyone cheering me on like this, I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Yeah, but Rihan's about the only one who actually tries to double battle appropriately. I suppose with my talents, I'll be over to take Miss Opal in no time. <laughs> And like I said, Rihan does weather setups, so court change probably isn't going to affect that one as much. I'm thinking it's more like mist, safeguard, things like that. Woo! Let's go, Archer! Oh, yeah. But again, there's no none of the AIs do that anyway. I don't think I have to heal. I think it just auto heals. Yeah, it auto heals. Glad for it. The time for waiting is over. The final ch of the Champion Cup are about to begin. The two trainers to face each other in the first battle of the first round are... A trainer endorsed by the champion himself, Wolf. And her opponent is... 
the raging wave, the master of water types, Nessa. Okay, slight problem. Archer's up front. Or Roger's up front. <laughs> I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Hillbury Stadium. I've got to hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent, too. But you're not the champion, and you'll never be the champion, either. You know why? Because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I'm not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamax to wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. So, who's gonna tell her? <laughs> Okay, that's not as bad for us to roll into with a fire type. It's still a bug water type. But it could be worse. Sonya might be disappointed, but I'm going to wash your team away. Listen, trust me on this. <laughs> Fly, you fool! <laughs> Ooh. And Meyer B, there aren't many set up teams in the NPC list, and they're both weather teams? Yeah. Damn it. Okay, well, that one hang out with the swords dance. I think you're. I think you're straight water. Yeah, you're straight water. I'm gonna cheese bounce with Roger for a bit. I don't want to swap into something without a KO if I can help it. I don't think Mounts is gonna KO though. I'm more impressed that you know Drill Run. Go for the bounce again. Yep, that's what I figured was gonna happen. <sighs> See if I can't bear into wasting a drill run. Ooh, I got the paralysis! Ah, oh, but she got the liquidation off. Okay. Roger, I love the stinking, like, the friendship mechanic of they're just like, I refuse to faint. <laughs> I love it, but it's also so cheesy. <laughs> Don't miss. There we go. Yes, I'll go ahead and I'll switch. We'll switch into Mayday just because she's also a bug type. Because if I switch into Toadette, she's going to be weak to the Glossopod. Should still be faster. Damn it. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna set up Sticky Web right now. I don't think I need to lower anything speed. Seeking, I'm not worried about. I have electricity! <laughs> Toadette's almost 65. Pelipper. No, because that's a four times weakness to electricity. I get that Pelipper has Drizzle to power up water type moves, but it's not a great thing for it to have Drizzle as an ability. Okay. 
Okay, what's your ace that's going to depend on this drizzle? Because I know it's going to be a, your ace. <sighs> okay, Dreadnought is water rock, so we're going to switch into Toadette because she'll have the four times advantage. Yes, the rock turtle. Because I decided to finally make an alligator snapping turtle in Pokemon. Dynamaxing has priority. Yeah. I'm going to be cheeky about this. I love how they all have Gigantamax Pokemon. Like, okay, we did our Dynamax thing. Now we all have Gigantamax. Then there's me. What? <laughs> God. I feel like this was just a rejected design of Mega Blastoise. I'm gonna say it. Ooh, you have a Dark type move? Interesting. But I am not a Psychic type. But you did lower my special defense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting that to <laughs> one shot it. <laughs> oh, good. Tweety also got a level off of that. Oh wait, does the ice type from E4, Oros, or ice gym leader from setup team with only two mons that benefit exclusively from a rare? Um, I think Candace technically counts for the Gen 4 because of the Obama Snow and Snow Warning. Um, I don't know about the Oros one. I'm trying to remember what that one's team is. And the winner is Wolf! She defeats Edenessa during the gym challenge and has pulled it off again. I wish there was an actual Elite Four for this. Like, this is the one major complaint I have about the setup. The tournaments are cool. I wish there was an actual Galar Elite Four. Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. Okay, so I fight... Bay. So we have Fighting Type next. So, um, if the Aorus E4 has a frost last, then yes, by the way, because Snow Cloak. Yeah. So Frostlass usually has an ability called Snow Cloak, which means it's very it's obscured during hail, which means it's increasingly hard to hit. Let's see, but your steel type is the problem there. Anyone got a psychic type move? No. So we're gonna have to lead with Tweety on this one. All right, Tweety. The problem is, is you really can't get hit by her. I mean, you should be neutral. You're flying steel, but still. Yeah. Because I know by Oros, uh, Snow Cloak on Frostlass is pretty common, and it's pretty freaking annoying. Oh my gosh. I probably should have been reading the announcer stuff. My brain turned off there for a second. It's fine. I promise you, my attacks will shake your very soul this time. May the best trainer win. See, I think what would have been cool... It's two Celios, two Glalies, and a Walrant. Yeah. 
Yeah, the the Glalies don't. I, I don't think they had Snowcloak until they made Frostlass a thing. Is when they introduced Snowcloak as the ability. And of course, we open up with a Halucha. You might have one win on me, but this is where I can show you what I really do when I'm serious. So you're a fighting flying type. We'll go for the fly. Oh, that's good. Let's see. Jesus! I didn't realize it was going to take half damage from missing a high jump kick, but okay. Good, Reptar. No. Nope. Really should have done some more speed trading with Tweety. Because she's probably going to outspeed almost every single one of my mons. Candace of the Battleground has a Glaceon as well as her Frost Last. Yeah. I don't think Glaceon got Snowcloak as an ability. But it does get some pretty gnarly moves to screw with you. Any leader that's using a Frost Last with a Hail setup? Yeah. It did? Oh, okay. Well then, yeah. Yeah, that, that's just them saying, yeah, we, we really don't want to deal with you. Uh, grapple, Oct, Water, Fighting. I'm fine with Water. The only reason I'm not brave birding is because I don't want to deal with the recoil. The only problem is if she goes for setups. Which luckily, most fighting type people don't go for setups. Damn it. Lived. Octolock. Which is basically just constrict. Lower speed. Defense, okay. Special defense. Snowcloak or it's hidden. Ice body. Yeah, ice body is really annoying. Let's go for Steel Wing. She's probably gonna heal. Yep. As long as I'm not baiting the full restore on their ace, I'm fine with this. Okay, got our defense back up, but we lowered. So is Octoblock lowering my defenses both every turn while I'm constricting, quote unquote? Yes, it is. Okay. That's fine. So I need to swap out Tweety, because Tweety at this point is a glass cannon. <laughs> Mushu! Honey, buddy, I don't I don't need you getting more levels at this point. Sir fetched. Yeah, we'll switch. Yeah, I'll swap into Roger. I know he's not grass. He should be pretty much pure fighting, I think, but... Tweety's definitely got to rotate out just to reset stats. Black and white, too. She has a Mammoth Swine that can have Snow Cloak or Oblivious. What the fudge?! Why did they look at her and go, yes, we want her to be OP? I mean, granted, ice types desperately need, like, a rehaul or some better dual typing going on than what they've got available to them. Brick Brick doesn't do much. Do you have another one? You don't. Interesting. Which yours is gonna be the Gigantamax my champ, isn't it? Yes. Yes. We're gonna go back into Tweety. Just because Tweety now no longer has like a minus five and a minus six respectively to defense and special defense.
Time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, and so neither should you. I don't know. The finals rounds, like, just, they don't hit the same for the themes. We will Dynamax here. We'll go into Max Airstream. Just because I know that Machamp hits like a freaking freight train. And Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl on rematch. She said Snowcloak Mamoswine, her previous Frost Lass, and an Ice Body Glacian. Cheese. Yeah, see, that would be just a weather typing setup all around. You have one of them use hail, and then, dear lord, you're gonna be so hard to freaking hit. I think the only way her team would get more annoying is if she had an off brand, like instead of a full ice type team, she had one um, drift blip in there just for using Ominous Wind for the Omni Boost. Because you can use that. I think Driftblimp can learn Baton Pass. Ah, shite. She leads with her snow warning Obama snow. Okay, yeah, there you go. I lived! Barely. And a dry skin jinx. Ow. Big explosion. Damn it. Roger, I was hoping you'd level off of that. Yeah, see, pressure on a Weavile, though, like, I'm used to Weavile's having pressure, so that's nothing new to me. Your strength nearly, nearly made me want to turn and run in my bare feet. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot she had, like, tied her top up like that, and I thought she was just randomly grabbing her boob there for a minute. Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling with you and your team. I'm upset that I lost, but I also feel so satisfied and refreshed. In a way, I guess you could say it was for the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. Of course her jinx has focus sash, because that's just even more annoying. I hope that you will meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay in those seat, folks. And, of course, we lead into Rehan. Because, of course, they want you to make you refight the dragons. Sis, you shouldn't be forcing your way in here. <laughs> the bomb must know has an icy rock. Yeah. Sorry, wolf. I thought my bro could get revenge for me, but he lost to Rehan. You look so sloppy out there that people are gonna think we're both weak because we're related. You got it wrong, sis. Rehan's just that strong. But I was able to show everyone in the audience how amazing a proper battle without using Dynamax can be. Alright, I get it, but that's exactly why I wanted you to win. I still thought it was a brilliant battle, though. I'm counting on you, Wolf. Got that? I'll be cheering for you. Sorry to come in for a chinwag just before the final match. Rehan's waiting for you on the pitch. We're looking forward to a good battle. Okay. So, let's pop Reptar and Mushu together. No. We'll do this. It's not great. I'm going to have to deal with the weather effects. But I don't want Reptar out immediately because I'm going to use her to reset a weather if I need to, if I get in a nasty bind. The issue is, is that his ace is a steel type. It's time for the final match! Who will earn the right to challenge the unbeatable champion, Leon? Let's have a Pokemon set up Hail coming into the field and is extended? Yeah. Or will it be the only trainer that champion Leon calls his rival? I actually fought Rehan without D-Max just because of those two? Yeah. Aw, no one got it. Hang on, Rehan. I must reuse a command. 
You're really something else, kid. You've made it all the way here. I guess that's why the champion himself endorsed you, yeah? Leon's my rival, and he chose you. So I've got to first prove I'm better than you if I'm to beat him. I've reworked my whole team, and now we're all geared up for one-on-one -on -one battles. You might be thinking that you beat me once already, but if you think I'm the same Rehan you faced during the gym challenge, you'll soon regret it. Damn it. Okay, he's leading with Torkoal, I'm leading with Mushu, so that's fine. I'm waiting for that thing to have Sandstream or Sunny Day. Drought. Okay, it's Sunny Day, but not Sunny Day. The sunlight's burning real harsh. Yeah, I know what drought is. Even with Surf reduced. It, this should still be a four times effective move because of water rock. Damn it. Oh, you're gonna be that jerk! Fine. You're gonna full restore, aren't you? No! I'm surprised I didn't bait the full restore. But I'm also not surprised. It's set up drought, that's all he really wants it to do. Roger. Yeah, we're asleep, that's fine. Gudra in this version's water dragon, right? Arceus is ground dragon. Yeah, I'll risk it. I'm like 90% sure you're a water dragon on this one. Go for the moon blast. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're a water dragon. Straight dragon? Okay. I know in Arceus it's like ground dragon or something like that. I'm going to assume you're going to hit me, so we're going to go for a draining kiss. Boosted surf. That's fine. Here's the annoying thing about Toadette. She has lots of moves that steal health like a vampire. Because she is a mushroom. Steel dragon for H. Gudra? Oh, Arceus? Good job, Toadette. So that one's fire. Mushu's still asleep. Ow, fuck. Which means rotating into Reptar a little bit sooner than I wanted to, but it's fine. Regular Gudra has hydration. Ah, okay. That explains that. Go for the stone edge. Fly on. Keep current. I have avalanche on you for a reason. Or sap sipper, but I bet Rihans is hydration. Yeah, if he's sitting up, um, if he's doing rain dance with it, yeah, it's probably got a hydration. <laughs> Stab it. Good lord, <laughs> half my team leveled off of that one.
At least you're still asleep. We're gonna go into Roger. I'm gonna take a little bit of buffer damage from the Sandstorm, but I've gotta go into Roger just for the fire aspect of this. You do realize that I'm the great Rehan, right? I'm the one to beat Leon, so first I'll beat you. Yeah, you're gonna turn this thing into a skyscraper, literally. Yeah, but PLA Gudra is a steel dragon because shell- oh, okay, see, I, I couldn't remember if it was ground or what it was. I just knew it looked like a snail with a shell on the back. I interacted with the Gumi line so little before PLA that I honestly didn't realize if it was a dual dragon type or a single dragon type originally. So I didn't even notice the type change. <laughs> Bring the storm. My partner will send everyone in the stadium flying. This isn't going to do much damage, even with the super effectiveness. But this is just to hopefully set up for the pyro ball. Yes. Oh, please survive this, Roger. I hate that that thing can learn Earthquake. Alright. And that's all she wrote. A crit from Roger! Let's go, boy! There's something in my eye and it hurts. I only knew the fact because it resisted grass confused me. Ah, fair enough. Alright, finals round complete. F losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I better take a quick shot to remember it by. Challenger Wolf seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before. But you just blew right past us. Beyond anything I'd imagined. I'm still pretty young myself, but it just goes to show that there's always someone younger coming up, reaching further than you ever dreamed. And you got your whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum. Prove that Leon's not unbeatable. Number 52, Challenger Wolf has achieved a dazzling triumph. The trainer who was endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed her. This result of the this is the result of the final round. Bum, bum, ba, na, na, na. <laughs> this rollaboom. All right, big foam is finally here. Yeah, I just came to cheer you on. You know, still it's not easy picking sides. After all, it's a showdown between my big brother and my rival. Who should I really want to win more? Monkey. <laughs> right, you reckon I should cheer for Wolf too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together way back in Postwick. So you better beat Lee, you hear? If anyone can beat the unbeatable champion, it'd be you, Meat. <laughs> Hi, Casual. How many memes have you posted in the, uh... One group chat. <sighs> okay. I think... We're gonna lead him with Roger. Let's we'll see how this goes. A lot. Oh god. <laughs> Dear lord. 
<laughs> I just pulled down the notification bar, and there's like 20 of them. Why? <sighs> All right. <coughs> Pop, it's our first league rehunt shows. If we failed, there's always next year. Yeah. The tents still air on the pitch, and the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. They want nothing more than to see one of us lose, after all. If it can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past that fear. And I'm giving it everything I've got as a trainer, and seeing my team give everything they've got to seize another victory. This is the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I am the Gallery Region's champion, Leon. Me and Charizard and all the rest of our team will use all our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Leon, you don't scare me as much as Cynthia. Cynthia will have you crying in a corner. Audience, wait, hold on. Look, look at the monitor. What's on the big screen? Because of course it's not that easy. <laughs> Hi, Rose. Hello there, Leon and Wolf. Just letting you know... I think it's time I brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Galar's future, of course. I'm, but I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. <laughs> yup. Everybody run! I'm sorry it's come to this, but it's you who forced my hand, Leon. You refused to listen. I love that he's trying to pin his own sins on Leon. Lee! Wolf! That video stream, that was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? Look, Leon, the archaeologist is more threatening than you. <laughs> I don't know. But everything he was saying yesterday, did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem a thousand years in the future? I've got to see what's going on. I'm the champion. I have to go. I should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. I'll take responsibility now for fixing this mess. It's time for the real champion. Man, you're gonna have to get saved by two ten-year-olds. But Lee, you're terrible at directions. What if you get lost along the way? <laughs> as much as that poor man has had to travel the region, you'd think he'd know his way around by now. I gotta go too. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what sort of help could I ever be? Easy for you to say that. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. That's the thing where the sky went all dark once and the ages and ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about? Where did we even hear that name? Hell, the geologist and the fashionista who swap places with him are more threatening than you. <laughs> The statue of the hero of Monstoke. Sonia said something back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong, since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still, those two managed to bring an end to the Darkest Day with the Sword and Shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might still be sleeping somewhere, though, right? We should try to find them, Wolf, but we're gonna start looking. How about we go to the Weld? You know, the, the one Pokemon that, like, we couldn't mess with? How about that? <laughs> Do I have any Ultra Bowls? <laughs> Granted, Lance is not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lance is just literal hacks. Huh? Wolf and Hop? Ah, I completely forgot about the championship match. What are you two doing here? Have you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonya. The chairman saw to that and is sending the entire region into a state of havoc. I like Lance, but he's not threatening. Okay, Lance is threatening until you battle him. When you battle him, or like when you're helping him in Gen 2, and he just has his Dragonite Hyper Beam a Rocket Grunt to death multiple times, yeah, he's terrifying. Just proves he's unhinged. <laughs> but other than that, actually battling him, not threatening. Well, for stars, a great black storm or something is raging over Hammerlock Stadium. 
the darkest day, everything's thrown into disarray. Well, I'm sure we don't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Okay, yeah, but I never played Gen 2. <laughs> See, fair enough. <laughs> the Darkest Day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Gala region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for? We need the sword. I knew Lance from Gen 1 in the anime. Yeah, in Gen 1 in the anime, he's not a threat. He's just annoying. I suppose if the legends are true, then the sword and shield Pokemon would be able to prevent the darkest day from coming to pass. They may be just what we need to be <laughs> ah, sorry. Beat back the black storm. Okay, here, take this. You should head into the slumbering weld. I'll catch up with you once I'm done looking for something that's been bothering me. Um hang on. <laughs> Thea is the opposite of your description of Lance. Yeah. All that matters is that you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. <laughs> Not threatening, right? But so you battle her. <laughs> Ready for this, Wolf? I wonder if we're about to head straight into the Wall of Fog again. Not that it bother us now. We've both grown loads stronger, and so have our Pokemon. Going into the forest after Wulu that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? Legendary beginning, really. I reckon whatever we're about to see will be pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. Okay. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> I have five Ultra Balls. <laughs> no, no. I do not care about you level 3 Pokemon. Leave me alone. No, no, no. We, we have a task. Dang it. Dang, damn it. I still run into the Rickety. Mostly because of Mega Gardevoir. Fair. I really need to replay through, like, Gens 5 through 7. Those, all three of those generations were basically a single playthrough fever dream. Or beetle item. I think I have to go the other way, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't fully remember this. I was so far back. Why? Um, from what I remember, Alder wasn't very threatening. Iris is annoying because of her dragons, but she's not like she's she's still a dragon. Like, don't get me wrong. She has Haxorus and she has I think Hydreon. I'd say not at all for Iris, because the little girl dresses Pokemon. Eh! She's a little bit older. She's not quite the little girl when you actually fight her as champion. Because you don't fight her as champion until Black and White 2, which is three years after the original series for Black and White. Gosh darn it! Weezing, leave me alone. I don't remember her, like, being a particularly hard champion fight. Put it that way. Alder wasn't, like, he was pretty easy to deal with. So I need this side, I guess? God, I hate the fog. Yeah, it's just that she is short and dressed as a princess. Yeah, I mean, let's be real. They wanted that lolly vibe off of her. Okay. <laughs> Made it! <laughs> Finally. What's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. It's because... It's because funny shit be afoot, yo. <laughs> Hi, boys. They really are here. The sword and shield Pokemon, I knew it.
Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, we're here. Come find us. Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two, what in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those, those were the sword and shield Pokemon. They were right in front of us, but then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, are you sure you haven't lost the plot? There was no one here but the two of you. Wait, were those just illusions or something then? Listen, I dug into some literature from other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon called Zamazetta. The writings say that... <laughs> Thank you, Uboa. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wells sometime long ago. Did they really? <sighs> Sonia, thanks for digging into it. Even if it's just an illusion or whatever, we really did manage to find that Pokemon again. Maybe the sword and shield that those two used to carry are still here too. And now I'm curious as to what like area they technically originated from. Would you take a look at that wolf? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like the stuff of legend. I don't know why, but like this little little setup right here just gives me vibes of uh, Pokemon Heroes movie with Latios and Latias. See that wolf? The sword and the shield. The legends really were true. Secret Grotto? Yeah. Rusted Sword. It's said that a hero used this sword to halt a terrible disaster in ancient times, but it has grown rusty and worn. That sells it. I'm taking the shield. Though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall to pieces if you so much as look at it funny. I don't know if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but I guess, well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Yeah, I don't know if that was a nod or not in all reality. Maybe the Pokemon themselves are really still asleep somewhere. So it seems like we're on our way, we're on if we want to go help Lee. And this is all the help we got. Dun, 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 dun. Like I know the games and the movies and like the anime and stuff are usually pretty separated, but I don't know. It just had that kind of vibe. Is this way a faster way? No. <laughs> no, it's a dead end. It's nothing! I know there's more items and stuff in here. I'm just trying to get this done right now. And not run into a million wheezings. Stop that. There we go. <laughs> For bloody ever. Yes. I love you with the giant storm going on in the middle of the uh, region. I can still call a flying taxi to take me to the middle of the region. <laughs> Like, they could have been jerks about that and just said, nah, nah, nah. This, this is not... God damn it. Further north. <sighs> My 
my brain forgetting that Hammerlock is north of Monstoke. Hi, Rehan. Well, if it isn't Wolf and Hop, it's a real shame the way things have turned out. You make it all the way to the championship match, and then something like this had to happen. And then Chairman Rose, thinking that energy would be pouring from the darkest day would somehow be the key to saving Galar's future. It all seems a bit mad, if you ask me. I can't follow at all how that's supposed to work. Well, I don't care if I'm up against the darkest day, or the, or the chairman, or whatever. I'm going ahead. I'm off to help my brother. And he's gone. That hob never changes. Always in a rush about something, ain't he? The key thing is that no one's been harmed. We gym leaders worked together with the city's Pokemon and we got everyone evacuated. And you, you're fixed to help our champion? To save everyone in the Galar region? Duh. Our greatest cha ever champion and the greatest ever challenger along with her fiercest rival. All teaming up against the darkest day. I almost feel sorry for it. Go on then. Our great challenger into Hammerlock Stadium with you. Into the giant central castle. Jim Challenger, you must help me. I, I, I mean, please help me. My Pokemon silly Dynamax for some reason and started running amok in the stadium. Rehan, I meant... Mr. Rehan was able to subdue the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but if other Pokemon also Dynamax and go on a rampage, the underground power plant would collapse. Mr. Rose is down there right now. I know this is selfish of me, but I must beg your assistance. I want you to head into the underground power plant and stop Mr. Rose. Mr. Rose has awakened a Pokemon known as Eternatus. Apparently, the energy emitted from its body is what causes Dynamaxing. At this rate, all the Pokemon in the Gala region will Dynamax and go berserk. If that were to happen, please, you must save Mr. Rose. You can take the lift over there and reach him. I'll enlist the help of the champion's younger brother, too, but who knows what's going on. Dun, dun. This is always a weird area to me. Hello. What do you plan on doing, Jim Challenger? Eh, stopping you. Ah, oh, pardon? What are you talking about? There's nothing to stop now. We've already brought about the darkest day. Or should I say, the ultimate Pokemon Eternatus. Must I explain myself? From your perspective, I suppose it must be seen that I'm doing something terrible. I don't expect you to understand. Yeah, it's like what's with the giant light bulbs. <laughs> but I must provide the Gala region with limitless energy to ensure everlasting prosperity. It is my purpose, my duty, my destiny. That's why we've been giving wishing stars to Eternatus. Surely you remember the red light that caused a ruckus around Hammerlock? That was all part of our experiments to awaken Eternatus. You must understand... Now I can't let you interfere with my plan to protect the future of Galar. Nah, Rose. There are at least five other Pokemon in line for the title of Ultimate. Yeah. You are challenged by Marcos Cosmos' Rose. Oh look! A Steel Bug type. And people wonder why you lead with your Fire type in Galar. Because so much steel Pokemon. Mew, Mewtwo, Yveltal, Xerneas, and Arceus. Yeah. Parable. Yay! Come on. Bring out your Caparaja. Do it. Oh, and Dialga and Palkia. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna throw Dialga and Palkia into the mix, though, you have to also argue Giratina. There it is. <laughs> it's about to send in Kling Kling. No.
I'm gonna increase your speed. So you're, you're what? Plus two and then a plus one? Like, sure, energy dragon, big whoop. Yeah. I mean, you could also argue, um, Deoxys as being stronger than Eternatus. And technically, both of them came from space. You're four times weak to this. I'm gonna get probably Thorny Shield, but that's fine. Or Iron Barb, sorry. It's spiky. I touched it with a physical move. Ow, it hurt. Go, Roger. Grow stronger. Nope. You and the Copper Roger are both getting a Pyro Ball to the face. I do like that his avatar is just standing there menacingly. <laughs> oh, good. Toadette. No. Oh. Oh, down to my last Pokemon. Hmm. This isn't looking good. Because I'm an a hole. I'll show you a move that'll hit so hard, you'll be speechless. I mean, Dynamaxing isn't really a move. Of course, you're Gigantamaxing, but still. I don't like how blocky they made Copperaja. It just looks like they stole something out of Minecraft. Yeah, what was that about that hurting? I've got every Pokemon that learns every move. The Pokemon clone from that Pokemon and enhanced to be the strongest psychic bar none. The Lord of Space, Time, and Antimatter, and their creator, and death and life in Pokemon form. <laughs> yeah. I've forgotten how great Pokemon battles are. It's been so long since I battled. That was sure satisfying. I feel like he'd be one of those people, like, when everything's hitting the fan, like, he would be the creepy calm one. Oh yeah, and if all that ain't enough, Jirachi exists. <laughs> Most impressive, Wolf. I wouldn't expect any less from a challenger endorsed by the strongest champion to ever grace our beloved Gala region. I really do wish I could have seen the championship match between you two. And I'm terribly sorry to have ruined the whole gym challenge and everything. It's too bad, but it can't be helped. In order to solve the energy issue as soon as possible, we awakened Eternatus. But we couldn't control it. The champion came to aid me, even at the cost of abandoning the match. Indeed, just like a knight in shining armor coming to rescue a princess from a dragon. I do tend to ramble on, I know. I love to make speeches. But I think I can stop talking now. I think the champion should have captured Eternatus by now. If you're curious, you can take the lift up. And I trust you'll be going too, right, Hop? I certainly hope losing to me didn't discourage you too much. Go now, both of you. Go see how our champion is doing. Discouraged? You don't get it, Chairman, do you? Neither me nor my Pokemon are anywhere near giving up. We l learned how to be strong thanks to the gym challenge you organized. Rose is such a twat. Yeah. By far, Rose is my most hated villain for the Pokemon series. And it's just the fact that, like, the sheer amount of smugness that oozes off of him the whole time. Like, don't get me wrong. Cyrus has a weird purpose, and 
Team Galactic's clothing is atrocious, but... And that's not counting Mega Legendaries, Prime Legendaries, or the Origin Forms. <laughs> Thanks, Hop, and you too, Wolf. You two have really grown tremendously. But no need for you kids to worry. It seems like some power of Eternatus was keeping my team from Dynamaxing, but... We have a had a champion time all the same. Charizard and the rest of my team members have really worn Eternatus down. Now if I can simply catch it in a Pokeball, we should be able to get this madness under control. Then everything can go back to normal. So watch this. It's going to be a real champion catch. I only like this one, dislike one character in Sword and Shield more than Rose. That stupid pig-haired brat whose name I can't think of. That would be BD, Archer. Yeah. Good Charizard. Yeah, about catching in a Pokeball. Fight! Yeah, and Rose's creepy Cyrus is just a depressive mess. Yeah. Oh, and that's the thing, because, like, Lillian's mom, I forget her name off the top of my head, she's, like, just kind of insane with the Ultra Beast plot thing. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Why would you use flamethrower on a fire type? And, okay. Geist is weird. Do not get me wrong. But he's like the standard, like, comic book villain type of crazy slash insane for the Pokemon world. So theoretically, you know, it makes sense. Why the f can I hit anything? God damn it, I'm just gonna hit with a fucking pyro ball. Like, don't get me wrong, the whole end storyline is very, very weird. But in the context of the Pokemon world, it kind of makes sense. Good boy, Roger. Uh, we're gonna swap you for Milotic, I guess. Come here, Mushu. I'm not gonna lie, normally I love music that plays with the fact that, hey, you're wearing a headset, so we're gonna mess around with it. This... The song for this one, no. This is probably one of my more detested themes from a Pokemon game. Yeah, Dr. Hill Part 2 Electric Boogaloo is just insane. Yeah. Yeah, Lusamine. I don't think I catch it here, right? I have to do another fight with this thing. I'm gonna waste a Pokeball. Oh, yeah. Can't throw. Okay. I'm like, I don't remember being able to catch it right off the bat. This is like a weird three-stage fight, if I remember right. Her whole thing of Pokemon is just movie 03, Secret of the Unknown. Yeah, just with Ultra Beasts. And then it became a giant hand! Fist of Doom! 
I don't know, man. <laughs> Eternatus just feels weird to me. It's huge. Let's take it on together, wolf. Yep, time to pull out the sword and the shield. <laughs> Finally, a Pokemon became a real Nintendo franchise as a giant hand boss battle. You've. Well. Pfft. You <laughs> Wolf, use that sword. It might be old and rusted, but there's got to be some use to it. Wakey, wakey. Well, I think we just figured out where what uh, region these guys come from. <laughs> Thank you, Boa. <laughs> so correct me if I'm wrong, but that whole sequence of them coming in, that looked like almost a terrestrialized formation that we've seen in the new trailers for Paldea. And we know Paradox Pokemon are going to be a thing between the past and the future and what they can evolve into in different styles. So what if Zamazetta and Zacian are Paradox Pokemon? From Paldea. I never paid attention to when they first came on screen before. Oh yeah. I like Zamazetta's coloring better, but I prefer Zacian. Yeah. I'm, I'm sad. I missed it on their shiny distributions. Because the shiny Zacian is like this nice powdered blue. <laughs> Freaking intrepid sword. Yes, having the other two Mons and actually having a full raiding party of four is what allows us to use attacks. Oi! What did I do to you? <laughs> the deep maroon just looks better than the peachy orange. Yeah, I'll agree to that one, Boa. Oh, Zamazata. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Private, I'm gonna peace out for a turn. K, okay, bye. Also, the fish sword is just fun. <laughs>
I'm not gonna lie, the, the music for this sequence just gives like power of friendship vibes. <laughs> Again, what did I ever do to you? <laughs> I'm doing the least amount of damage of anyone right now. Alright, we're just gonna swap into Mushu. If you're gonna bully me, I might as well freaking use a better Pokemon. Well, not better. Better type match, put it that way. Roger's a good Pokemon. He's just getting bullied. <laughs> In the words of an anime we used to watch, Nakama! <laughs> yep. Man, I just, I finished watching, oh, well, re-watching Assassination Classroom today at work, and... <sighs> that anime, man. It still makes me, like, sad. <laughs> oh, that poor double. I watched that. I got caught up on Spy Family at work today, and then I started re-watching for, like, the eighth time Ancient Magus Bride, because we're supposed to get, a uh, season two sometime next year, finally. Screw you. <laughs> Assassination Classroom is honestly pretty fun. It's a good little, like... It, it's kind of your campy junior high coming of age story, but there's a lot of real character development for a lot of the kids. It's not just one main character. It is the full class, and I do enjoy it. And they did fully complete that story, so it doesn't end up halfway through it. So for like, I think it's 52 episodes overall, between technically I think three seasons. Crunchyroll has it as two, but... Try to catch Eternatus now! <laughs> I like how Don't Catch is not even an option. What should we put this thing in? <laughs> Get in the friend ball. <laughs> I'm gonna catch the energy dragon and make it be my friend. <laughs> no, no, no! Get in the ball! off into the distance. <laughs> They're like, peace, we did our job. Let us go back to sleep. <laughs> ah, back in not London. Three days later. So Chairman Rose turned himself in then? Never thought I'd live to see the day. He awoke Eternatus and nearly caused a catastrophe for the entire region. You reap what I- you sow, I say. I don't know about you, but I slept like the dead. Everyone's still talking about what happened, but at least things are back to normal now. 
And we really did defeat Eternatus together with Zamazetta and Zacian. And still Lee's well be and Lee, insisting on having a championship match with you today. It's a bit much, isn't it? You sure you're up for it? I'm not even too sure about him. He was out cold and hurt pretty badly himself during all that mess. I do understand how he feels, though. Feels like I've been waiting forever to get to see you and him face off in a serious match. So come on. That match will be at Winden Stadium. Where else? Whee! Dun, dun, dun. Screw this. Yeet. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Now we can fight Leon. And we save. Let's be real, even in the Pokemon world, if you were coming in for a huge match like this, you would not be walking in the front door. My matches are always sold out, but this... I've never seen a crowd this wild. Every no one... I swear I can talk, I swear I can read. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Wolf. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the Gala region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazetta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers... Crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Wolf. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever. We're gonna have an absolute champion time. Finally, time for the champion fight. Fair warning, I know two of his mons. Charizard and Inteleon. That's it. <laughs> One of the dudes said the champion is to get the crowd fired up. Let's go, Leon. Clap, 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 clap. Let's go, Leon! <laughs> Isn't that King Shield? It's just Protect with a different name. A super effective hit. I expect nothing less from your team. <laughs> Mushu, I still don't know how you became my ace. Haxorus. Yep. Speaking of... Well, actually... Where are the chan- eh, We're gonna go Mushu. I don't trust that thing to not have a fire type move because dragons. We can learn flamethrower. Okay. <laughs> the mold. Could have been a jerk and dragon tail to knock it back into its ball. Oh, 
Oh, Reptar is so close to leveling. How many dragons do you have? I will admit, I do like Dragapult just because it is a dragon ghost type, and I love the fact that it just yeets Dreepies and they love it. Okay, see, that's not surprising. I'm not gonna lie, the music for this is, like, more fun than anything to me. I wish there were more bear Pokemon. I need at least enough to make a team. Fair enough, Archer. Oh, man, I would've loved a crit there. We'll go for Dragon Tail. I'll honestly be shocked if we don't have one from, um, like a new one. Well, technically we got Ursaluna and Arceus, so we may not have a new bear type in Paldea. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Almost everyone leveled off of that. goes it yeah Roger should be safe against a mr. rhyme you popped in just in time for the actual championship battle Because Mushu is a pseudo dragon type? Probably. There is the Intellion. Yes, we'll be swapping for that one. I think we're gonna have Reptar deal with his Charizard. Faster than me? Ho! Oh, that crit hurt. Go for the discharge then. Yeah, it's gonna use snipe shot again. You're good, girl, Mayday. Yeah. Um, I don't think you are, Boa, and depending on which game, it's Ursa Luna versus Ursa Ring, but yeah. People love drag racing down my street. <laughs> okay. Yes. Because Reptar. Baratic the Snot Bear? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't see that one. <coughs> yeah, Ice Bear. Because we have Fighting Bear, we have Bear Bear, we have Normal Bear, we have Dark Bear, and then we have Ice Bear. I want a fire bear.
Wolf, your background music to me once again, deciding I'm better than a professional. I better trick my hair. You could argue Snorlax being a bear, yeah. <laughs> I would put Snorlax instead of Spinda if you're winning for a normal type. And, Pet, that's fine. Whenever I color my hair, I do it myself, so... Because then if it comes out bad, then I only have myself to blame. <laughs> and I didn't spend a hundred plus bucks for someone to touch my head. Yay! Uh, you did hear Fire Bear. I was saying I wish there was a Fire Bear Pokemon. Because Archer wants a full team of Pokemons that are specifically bears. <laughs> I hate the fact that you know Energy Ball. Yeah, I know you're cutting your hair though, Pat. I've learned that I cannot cut my own hair, so that one I have to concede on. I need to learn how to shave because I my hair just because I have uh, mostly an undercut. <laughs> Reptar said, "Nope, I live." <laughs> my time as champion is over but what a champion time it's been my wife dies and shaves her own but doesn't cut yeah I'm fine with shaving I need to learn how to do it properly thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had I cannot cut hair though to save my life I've learned that the hard way Loading, loading. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, yeah, Urashifu, water bear. Congratulations, Wolf. You beat the unbeatable champion. So you're making the new champion of the region. You become a first-rate trainer, all right. Fair enough there, Pat. Now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's my time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults start working on improving the here and now, for the sake of all that's to come. If you count legendary mythicals, there are exactly six bears. Believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create the bright future we all hope to see. Keeper of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes. Your champion, Wolf. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what she can do. I always forget Ur Urshifu. Yeah. And now we sit through the credits. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I do love their little Pokemon rock band they have going on here. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. See, but I would say Snorlax counts just so that way you ha don't have to use a Spinda for a bear. Everyone thought Spinda was going to be the next Eevee. It was not. Ooh, but a cool thing I did see on the Scarlet and Violet Pokedex, though. Villian is actually getting its first re-release since Gen 5, which means people can actually try to collect all 66 different patterns on that freaking butterfly. 
And it's funny, because there's 66 unique patterns based upon where your game console is registered, geographically speaking, plus the Pokeball design, which was the event version. And it's number 666 in the Pokedex. No, I refuse. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I remember when I was having to trade for a specific Pokemon that I had missed out on, like Legendaries and Mythicals, and the number of people who wanted a specific version of Avillion was insane. And I had a good stockpile of, like, extras just from random trading back in the day. So, like, I traded all but one of those suckers away. Number what? Yeah, it's number 666 in the Pokedex. Yeah. <laughs> the villain can piss off. <laughs> I'm just saying, a lot of people were pissed that we had to wait four generations for that little sucker to come back. These are very small translation and editing teams, I feel like. I don't need to capture 136 pavilion. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't 136. There's 66 different versions counting the Pokeball one, which was the event version. Hi, ma'am. Your speakers. That's too many knockoff butterfreeze. <laughs> I will, Pat. Okay, so 134. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A male and female of each pattern. I don't think they actually have a difference between the male and female. I do like that they had the Wulu one more time. I do like after you become champion when it loads back up to the screen, it has your team out there now. I don't remember if it did before or not, I just know it does it after the championship, because you are the champion. Now I will not lie. What happens here in post-game between the two idiots, I detest them. Congratulations, champion. Here, I've got a little something for you as a celebration. The Master Ball. You didn't have to come all this way. After everything Wolf has achieved, it's really the least I could do. The wishing stars that make Dynamaxing possible are parts of Eternatus, and when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up all over, causing trouble all across the Galar. But Wolf and her friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Gal Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamaxing correctly in the days to come. So, young Wolf, please do... What you believe is best. 
Yes, kitty cat. Poor Professor Magnolia. It seems she is quite bothered by the chairman's actions since she helped carry out so much of the researching into Dynamaxing for him. Ah, yes. A scientist found a legitimate archaeological proof of our family liars. Yeah. It's false and we will not stand for it. Yes. Goodness. Bless the kitty. If you're reading this wolf, I'm leaving this special Charmander you, so have a real fiery battle again soon. Best, Leon. I dislike that it's a Charmander. Like... <sighs> yes, you can... If you do the DLC, you can get the other two, but still. No. Alright, Boa, you good. We're almost done for the night anyway. Also, what's with these poor boys not having a door in their room? What did they do? Catch you later, Boa. Hi. Sorry, I have a cat purring very hard in my lap. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I think that's where we're going to call it for tonight anyway. I know it's a little bit of a shorter stream. But we'll save the post game for next time. Uh, tonight is Wednesday. So tomorrow will be Genshin because the 3.2 update is live. Friday, if I stream, we'll probably try to go ahead and finish out the shiny pumpkaboo hunt if we're lucky. Um, it may not. <laughs> it may be a much longer hunt. So, I don't know if we're going to do anything on Saturday or not. But, this is where I leave it. Let me see if any of my peeps are on. Mm, nope, okay. So, no raid tonight. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, night, evening, morning, or week, if you don't get to pop back in, wherever you be may be. Please remember to eat food, drink water, stretch occasionally, and take breaks when you need to. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!